In this film, I'm going to have a look at the running technologies that REE have put into their models. Uh, this coincides with the delivery of the UIC coaches and uh, wanted to have a look at those on tight radiuses. So what I've set up here is a Fleischmann radius 1 oval and you can see at the end radius 2, 3 and 4 which I've just put up just to demonstrate that I am using radius 1 in this film. Um, so we'll just have a quick look. What I've done is fitted the coaches with Profi couplings. So I've brought them as close as I they physically can. Uh, between the coach and the loco, I noticed there was a bit of a buffer lock. Now REE have designed a special extra long coupling housing which I've fitted. And we'll show how that's fitted in a bit. You can tell the floor was the only flat space I could find that could accommodate this size at the moment. So we see the train is successfully negotiating radius one. Move to take a closer look at the, what's happening. The swing links swing out to clear the buffers. There we are, so you can see how the couplings extend to cope with tight radiuses. RE have been innovative with their coupling design. So on the new DEV and UIC coaches, you've got the K guide, which is an NEM standard. But you'll see in there that the, there is a, a pocket there which can be removed. So this one has got a number six. I'm not sure if we can see that, if we'll focus number six on it. In the packet of parts that the couplings come in there's another one with a number three on it and this one is longer so if you've got a layout with tight radiuses then the longer coupling can be used and just insert the standard European couplings. In some of my experiments I've been using the Fleischmann Profi coupling and this has some cosmetic and mechanical advantages. Um, it's a little bit tighter than the normal ones to fit in, so we'll just squeeze the tails in and then push it through. Illustrates the big advantage of the Fleischmann Profi coupling. On on layouts with larger radiuses, say three and above, um, they're perfectly happy. It will go around a radius two and radius one standard curve, but they do not like the reverse curves. They're just too close together and the buffers will impact and derail the coaches. So as long as you've got room, it's a great advantage. The other advantage is that you can lift stock out without derailing it. The Profi couplers, you can just see how close the coaches get on the straight. And there's a small gap between the coach and the logo because I fitted the longer um, coupling pocket on this coach just because we encountered a bit of count buffer lock earlier where one of the loco buffers overlapped the coach. So this is the 231D and we're going to send it through radius 3 reverse curve.
So I've now got the 231D with a pair of the DVAO coaches and they're on the couplings that RE supply. Um, let's just have a little bit of fun there. Slow card as well. I'm going to send it to radius 2, reverse curve. It's worth keeping a moderate speed because you don't want to hit these kind of curves at too much speed. But it's coping with it and that's what the manufacturer stated. It is a radius to reverse curve on the flat so probably won't like a gradient. Turning to the UIC coaches, I've put the REE supplied couplings on. So remove the close couplings and put those on. And now we see that the UIC coaches do cope with the radius to reverse curve. We now have the 231D on a radius 2 oval. Uh, the three coaches have got the factory fitted couplings on them. So it's all working fine on radius 2. I won't try them on radius 1, uh, it tells me not to. <laughs> the factory fitted couplings on the diesel and on the coaches, they will run through a radius 1 reverse curve. So we've got that set up here. We'll see how much strain it puts on the couplings as it swings left and right. <laughs> 